The government says it's reviewing its relationship with the charity Oxfam after it emerged workers used prostitutes in the aftermath of the 2010 Haiti earthquake. The Department for International Development says the way the abuse of vulnerable people was dealt with raises serious questions that Oxfam must answer. Well, Sky's Olivia Kinsley is here with us now. Olivia, what more can you tell us on this? So after the 2010 earthquake, that devastating earthquake uh, in Haiti, it emerged that senior Oxfam staff had been using groups of young prostitutes. As a result, Oxfam then carried out an investigation uh, into that. That led to four members of uh, staff being dismissed for gross misconduct and three resigning. Now, what's being alleged in the Times newspaper today is that Oxfam then tried to cover the whole scandal up. And that, as a result, uh, these members of staff who then left uh, Oxfam were then able to go on to other charities and work with other vulnerable people. Uh, now, there's growing over anger over this, uh, not least from the government, which uh, now says it's reviewing its relationship with Oxfam and uh, that the senior team's handling of the scandal showed a lack of judgment. Uh, earlier, we spoke to Andrew Mitchell, who was the International Development Secretary uh, at the time, and he said that uh, Oxfam now has a lot of explaining to do. The Oxfam must now respond with complete transparency and openness, explain exactly what happened, what actions they took, when they took those actions, and, and, and how they've sought to put this terrible is issue behind them. But equally, all of us must remember that Oxfam is quite simply one of the most brilliant international charities in the world. Oxfam, all around the poor world, where, where there are people living in desperate circumstances, Oxfam is a beacon of light in very dark places, bringing help to people who are suffering grievously. So the Charity Commission, which regulates charities in England and Wales, says it was given Oxfam's report, but seems to be saying that they uh, excluded the most important details, really. Uh, in a statement, they said uh, today, the report to us stated there had been no allegations or evidence of any abuse of beneficiaries. Our approach to this matter would have been different had the full de details that have been reported been disclosed to us at the time. We have written to the charity as a matter of urgency to request further information regarding the events in Haiti in 2011. Uh, now, Oxfam completely denies any cover-up, saying it publicly announced both the investigation and then the outcome of the investigation. It also says that the Charity Commission confirmed that Oxfam had taken appropriate action and that it therefore had no regulatory concerns about what from what the, co the Commission and the government are both saying today, it appears that both of them very clearly think they weren't given the full picture. OK, Olivia, thank you.